Hi, here I am inside NetBeans IDE 8.2. I could also be inside of um, Apache NetBeans, which I have built because I have done a Git clone from Apache NetBeans uh, GitHub repo, which gives me this uh, folder structure. And after I run ant on that, um, on that source tree, I will have at the end that same source tree, but also a folder called NB build, inside of which is NetBeans. And this is a complete NetBeans installation. You can run ant try me on the root folder here, on here, and then NetBeans starts up. What you can also do is you can go down to NB build and NetBeans and you will find that installation and you can treat that installation like any other installation of NetBeans. So you can start up this one. What you can also do is you can register that as a NetBeans platform. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, so this is a development IDE, which is NetBeans IDE 8.2's platform. But now I'm going to go, so I'm pretend I'm up here in my home directory. I'm going to go in here to main. And inside main is incubator NetBeans. So this is the root folder from my GitHub clone. In there, I will find a folder called uh, NB build. And in here is my installation. So this is what's been built from running ant on the um, folder structure. You'll see that this button becomes enabled next. You see any other folder, it doesn't, but this one it does because this is a NetBeans platform. You click finish. And here are all the modules that are included here. I say close. Um, now I'm going to create a new application, NetBeans platform application. Click next. Uh, hello world Apache NetBeans. I click finish here. And you could see that actually by default was selected the development IDE. I could have switched it over there, but I'm just going to switch it in here. And I'm switching to Apache NetBeans. This is what I registered um, in the NetBeans platforms folder. And I'll just click OK here. Well, we can go back there and see if it was OK. There we are. I'm just going to ignore this. Um, if we want to fix that, we can just go in here and find a net Java FX, which we're not going to need for probably most um, NetBeans platform projects. I'll disable all, all of these guys here. Uh, let's do that. Uh, HTML UI, but this is all from the Duke script story. HTML UI API. Also, it's, that's from there. In a way, we don't need to do this, but I'm just going to do it anyway. Um, so these all belong to Duke script really uh, down here these guys and job effects we're not going to be needing really file templates HMO this is also from Duke script these are not really problems and you would still have NetBeans platform running fine with, with uh, even with these errors. But I've basically now removed all the modules that are kind of Duke script uh, related. And I click OK. I'll open the output window to show the result as it comes up. Uh, just close this and start it from scratch. I'll do, well, we can't do a build. There's nothing to build. All I can do is run. So now new application starts up. I uh, still have an old splash screen. I haven't got the most up-to-date um, Apache NetBeans distribution, so we would see the um, new splash screen if I had the most up-to-date one. And here we have now our um, application up and running, exactly as you would expect. You have your output window. You know, this is the NetBeans platform that you see here. Uh, let's go to the About box here. And you see, and this actually, this is a message recently added. Apache NetBeans is currently undergoing incubation at the Apache Software Foundation. So this is a fairly recently added text to the Apache NetBeans um, main and release branches. Um, in the meantime, there's a new, you see a new um, uh, image here and you see a new splash screen. 
and so on. Um, but but again, I'm not using the latest, the very latest uh, checkout. So that's it. We have now created an application on top of Apache NetBeans.